kittens. Today we are going to be making a tiger cake because Tiger King is hot right now and I love tigers, believe it or not. I mean, who doesn't? They're so gorgeous, they're so cute, they're so cool, they're just amazing creatures. So we are going to be making a tiger cake today. It's not gonna be like something that is just straight up about the show, it's gonna be just a tiger. There's nothing, there's not gonna be like any Carol Baskin on it or anything like that. It's just gonna be a pretty tiger cake. So you can use this for any occasion. Like if somebody absolutely loves tigers in your family and their birthday's coming up, you can make this cake. I cannot believe that I said, hey, all you cool cats and kittens though. That like just makes me cringe. People are making all these TikToks and videos on Instagram of it and every time I hear it, it makes me cringe, so I don't know how so many people are just like doing it over and over again. I hate that. So the first thing we are going to do is our layers of our cake, and it is going to be so simple, believe it or not, to make tiger layers. So whenever you cut into the cake, there's going to be literal tiger layers inside of it. I did this for my mom probably four years ago for her birthday, but I did zebra layers, and it was so cool, so easy, and it's kind of the same thing, but different colors and just a little bit more batter in between each color. But seriously, it's the most simple thing ever, and I will zoom the camera in and show you guys. The only thing you're going to need is orange and black food coloring, and then just some regular vanilla cake batter. And my cake is going to be an eight inch cake. So you can do whatever size you would like, just eight inch is what I'm going to be making for this cake. It does not matter what size. I didn't want to do a six inch because it would be a little bit too small to work with the face. Um, and then anything bigger would just go to waste. So that's the only reason why I am doing an eight inch cake. So let me zoom the camera in for you guys and show you how we are going to get those awesome tiger layers. All right, so here is the first pan that I'm going to do. I have it sprayed with some baking spray, and then I have my vanilla cake batter back here, which I dyed orange and black. And then I'm just going to put a spoon in both containers so we don't mix the colors up. And what we're going to do is just take a big blob of orange and just dip it right in the middle. And we're gonna do this a few times just to make the blob a little bit bigger than that little thing. I'm gonna do this probably like three times and then I'm going to do the same thing with the black and just put that right in the center of the orange. I'm probably gonna do only two scoops for the black. And you wanna do a different amount of scoops every time so the stripes aren't the same exact size. You always wanna make them a little bit um, bigger, like you wanna make the orange ones a little bit bigger at times, the black one a little bit bigger at times, so the stripes are not the exact same and it's a little bit messy because tiger stripes are not perfect. So that's kind of the goal that we're going for here. So I'm probably only gonna do two small scoops with the orange and I'm just gonna keep switching it up. I might do three scoops of black next. Just keep on switching it up and keep repeating this until you have it come all the way to the edge. of the cake pan. You don't need to go any fuller than that. So I'm just going to finish this off with a little drop of black. And then this one is good to go. So I'm going to move this one aside and fill up my other pan. This takes lots and lots of time. So if you get bored easily, I recommend bringing your laptop into the kitchen or your phone or whatever, listening to music or watching a TV show because this takes a lot of time. It wouldn't be that bad if you only had to do one pan, but I'm gonna do probably three or four of these. So it gets very boring very quickly. 
So I'm just gonna keep on doing this and pop them in the oven and bake them and then pop them in the freezer for a little bit before we start putting on our crumb coat and everything. All right, so once we have our cake layers baked and ready to go, we can then put on our crumb coat. So we're gonna put a layer of icing in between each layer of cake and make it nice and smooth and then put on a nice thick crumb coat before we start piping on the fur of our tiger. So now we are going to work on adding our fur onto our tiger. So on the top of the cake, I already traced out the face and everything. I just have a little rough sketch going on here. Like I drew on where the nose area is gonna go, the eyes, the ears. That's just usually what I do with my cakes just to keep everything organized and all, but you know, it looks pretty crappy right now. <laughs> but the first thing I like to do is get the sides over with because that is the most surface that we need to cover. It's extremely annoying to pipe with a grass tip on a big surface. So I like to get the sides over with. So we're gonna get that over with first. So I have a toothpick here and I am going to trace out where we're gonna put some of the black stripes. Stripes are actually really easy to do. So you're just going to start off, I have one drawn here already. I don't know if you can even see it, but I have one drawn going down. I have it thicker towards the top and then it comes to a point at the bottom. So that's kind of how stripes go. Um, and I'm just gonna keep doing that the whole way around the cake. So here I'm gonna start next to the one that I just finished right here. And I'm gonna start with a point and just go down kind of just like a sweeping motion and start with the other side right up at the point, make it very pointy and then swoop it down and end with this point here. So it starts at a point, it gets thicker and then it ends at a point. This one, I started it up at the top of the cake so there's no spot for the other point to end. So it just is thick and then goes to a point. If that makes any sense, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible, <laughs> but it's a little difficult to explain. So I'm gonna do a smaller stripe here and I'm gonna start at a point, kind of make like a banana shape down, like swoop it down like a banana. And this is going to be, we're gonna be piping with a grass tip. So it's not going, this is all gonna be getting covered up. This is kind of just a little stencil to be following. Um, it's not going to be perfect whatsoever, just like stripes in a tiger are not. So just kind of go around and just put stripes at random spots. So I'm gonna do what I did with my first stripe here and I'm gonna start it off thick and then bring it up to a point. All right, so now that we have that good to go, I'm going to start piping on my orange icing and then we'll go over the black stripes later. I have on a really big grass tip. I got this on Amazon. They don't come in normal packs, so you need to find like a large one on Amazon if you want a larger one. It's the number 259. And the way I made this icing color is just regular buttercream icing, and then I did about four big drops of orange and then one small drop of black, and it made this gorgeous tiger color orange. <laughs> So I'm just going to pipe the orange all around the sides and then I will get back to you whenever we put on the black stripes. All right, so now we are going to work on our black stripes. So I have a smaller grass tip here filled with black and we're just going to go over the little drawings that we did with our toothpick and just do the same exact motion. Now for the head, this is where I have my gorgeous little sketch going on here. 
So you're gonna want to sketch a little nose on. You wanna do some sketching just like we do with the stripes so you have a little outline going on. Once you have like a rough drawing of the face, then I'm going to start figuring out where I'm going to be piping the hair and the stripes and everything. All right, so I'm going to start piping the bottom part of his face with some white. And this can be very sloppy. There's no harsh lines. You guys don't need to follow the exact movement that I'm doing. You can just do a bunch of white all around and some going up higher than others, just like down here. Like there's no method to this madness. It's just some crazy cool stripes. So just pipe just around his chin area with some white. And then for his little nose area, I plopped a big amount of orange icing there and I just outlined the drawing that I did for his nose. Now I'm gonna add in some black stripes on top of all of the orange and white hair. So just a bunch of random stripes. I already did the left eye, as you can see right here. So we are going to do, what did I just say, the left eye? If I'm facing this way, so we're gonna do the right eye. Um, so what you're gonna need is some black icing. We are going to start right here. I'm gonna try and give you guys a really good angle. And then just do a down motion. I'm gonna make like an off shape oval and the top line of the eye is going to be thicker. I'll kind of make it look like it's wearing eyeliner. And then to start the inside of the eye, I just do a little half circle with black and right above that black half circle, I'm gonna do a thin layer of white and then a really thin layer of the orange that we piped the fur with. The center is going to be all black and we're just gonna add two little white speckles for the eyes. So the next thing I'm going to add on is going to be his little nose. So I have some pink icing here and I'm just going to pipe on a tiny little nose right here at the base of this orange. And then with some black icing, I'm just going to trace the rest of his mouth. As you can see, I did half of it over here, and I also did a few whiskers, so we're just gonna do this to the other side. And now we're going to do the left ear, or right, whatever angle we're looking at the cake. Just gonna pipe some fur on the fondant triangle that I have here, so I'm just gonna do some black, a little bit of white on the side. All right guys, just like that, our tiger cake is finished. I cannot wait to cut into this baby. It is going to be so cool. Please do not mind my crazy hair. I had to put it up while I did this cake, but I am super happy with it. It is so awesome, and I know the layers on the inside are gonna be even better. And I also cannot wait to eat this. This cake is just all for me. I just did it for this video. It wasn't for an order or birthday or anything like that. So I get to have this cake all to myself and I'm so excited. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Have a good rest of your day everyone. Bye.